Welcome to this Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie we're gonna look at world update number 12 which takes place in New Zealand. After a lot of discussions on the fora when the update will be released, uh, it's finally there. Right, so it was at uh, 12 o'clock at least in Mia, uh, Central Mia time. Uh, but there was a lot of confusion and a lot of pushback that people want to have it earlier because it's I would say normally they will release it around let's say 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock uh, Central European time. But for some reason it was pushed out, nobody knows why. So the good thing is that it's uh, free for everyone, right? The only thing which you need is, I would say, this space because it requires you to download additional content uh, to, I would say, benefit from most of the uh, added features. So let's have a look at what has been added. Well, first of all, the triangulated irregular network cities. Well, new word for, I would say, cities which have been uh, photogrammetry updated. All right, that's Auckland. Christchurch, Hamilton, Nelson, uh, Queenstown, uh, Tarangi, and Wellington, right? So these cities have received a massive update uh, from a photogrammetry uh, perspective, but also from a triangulated irregular network updated, thin update. I think it's a new term, right, which they're using, but uh, kind of cool. Besides that, we've got a lot of point of interest. And in the point of interest, you always see a pattern, right? You see the uh, churches, you see the bridges, you see the lighthouses, you see the cathedrals, you see the stations. Uh, in some cases, you see uh, other stuff. Uh, so, Hole in the Rock. Uh, so, the Majestic Center, uh, Mohaka Fire Duct, right? So, a lot of cool things uh, have been added to New Zealand as part of this world update. Uh, Sky Tower, Skyline Queenstown, and then of course we've got the handcrafted airports. So there are a lot of them, right? And they, there were was even a bonus one. So you've got uh, Gisborne Airport, Milford Sound Airport, Martins Bay Aerodrome, uh, George River Airstrip, Wataru Airport, Lake Tequipo Airport, uh, Wangare Airport, Westport Airport, and Queenton Lodge Airstrip. So a lot of cool airports which have been added, right? So uh, we will have a look at them in future videos. Uh, but cool to see that they've added, uh, I would say, a bunch of aircrafts or airports, sorry, to uh, this new world update. Besides that, there are three new uh, boost trips. Uh, new Zealand's North Island in the Textron Aviation Beechcraft Bonanza G36. And also uh, one for the southern part of the island. But that one takes place in the Pilatus PC6. Uh, the BT H4 Turbo Porter G50. Uh, a last one is the uh, historic recreation of the country's first air route in a Douglas DC3, right? So if you're a Douglas DC3 fan, this is probably one you want to give a try. Of course, we also have some discovery flights uh, in total three. Auckland, Queenstown and Lake Benmore. And here you see the differences, right? Which was already announced a while ago that they would add new aircraft types to these discovery flights. So you see the DG-1000E uh, Neo Glider for the Lake Benmore and you see the uh, Gimbal Cabri G uh, G2 helicopter for Queenstown. And those discovery flights are really cool, right? So those are really, I'd say, something you can give a try. There's some nice relaxing music under it and you can enjoy the, uh, I would say, new scenery. Last thing are the landing challenges, right? The landing challenges there's the strong wind landing at Wellington Airport in an Airbus uh, A320. There's the epic landing in Ryan's Creek, the Aerodome, in a Cessna 172, my favorite. And you've got the technical landing at uh, George River Airstrip in the Savage Cup. And last one is a famous challenge in an Airbus A310. So also here, a new aircraft which has been introduced to the landing challenges because the Airbus A310 wasn't part of any landing challenge uh, prior to this world update. So if we look at the screenshot, right, some nice screenshots over here. Uh, let me enlarge them a bit so we can have a look at it. So nice lighthouse, right, a lot of detail. Some snow, current peak, some nice mountains, some nice cities. So a lot of fun to fly with, of course. And it's, again, it's available for free. So you can download it uh, via the marketplace. And that's something I will show in a few uh, seconds. Uh, besides that, of course, there is the uh, new aircraft which they released, uh, but it's not mentioned, I would say, in this post. It's mentioned in this post. So, first of all, there is now the, um, I would say, the, uh, 
how he called the local legend. And the local legend is the Diablo Antenna DHC4 Caribou and will cost you $15. But if you want to wait and want to have a, I'll say, personally, I'm going to wait. Uh, there's a cool aircraft coming uh, this Monday, right? It, that's the 27th. Uh, that's the Antonov AN225 that will be released on Monday the 27th. Only for the PC because there's a dependency on the WASM. And WASM is part of the Sim update number 12. So if you are flying on an Xbox, you need to wait, I would say, a little bit longer. But eventually, according to the release notes, it should become available uh, also for uh, the Xbox, right? So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So let's see how we can get this new content. So the first part of the update is, of course, in updating the manual content or the default content. So if you start Flight Simulator for the first time, uh, again, right after World Update 12 has been released, you will get a prompt which says, hey, I need to download, let's say, a certain amount of gigabytes. Uh, in this case, simply press update and then sit back and relax because it needs to download approximately one gigabyte. Uh, so I'm going to pause recording now and then I will be, be back once uh, the uh, package has been installed and flight simulator has started into the main menu so the update has installed or at least the basic update has been installed because that's where the fun will start right the fun starts here because you still need to go to the marketplace so if you go to the marketplace and if you select a uh, world then you will see uh, the landmarks but if you scroll down a little bit further you see the world update you see in this case it's already owned that's kind of i think it's a change because i never bought this one to be honest and you also don't need to buy it so it looks like that they changed this because that might have led to some confusion uh, so simply hit the download button and then it will start downloading the great add-on and the new stuff right the poise uh, the additional uh, discovery uh, missions uh, or discovery flights i should say the landing challenges etc you can see that it's approximately 6 gigabytes, so make sure that you've got enough disk space because else you are, I would say, not screwed, but you can't uh, use this great content. Uh, so I pause the recording now again because I'm not going to let you watch my screen on how I'm downloading this update. This one is, I would say, a hard requirement, right? If you don't install this world update, you won't benefit from all the content which is added as part of the world update. So see you back in a few seconds. So the update has been installed, so we're going to go back to the main screen and there you will find different things, right? First of all, you might have thought, hey, why are you not updating this one? Well, no idea. Normally they will do it, right? Normally they will show you the, uh, I would say, latest and greatest discovery flights. But currently this only shows the first flight airport. So this looks like to be one of those uh, new things which they have added. Uh, although I'm not 100% sure about this. But I do think that it's, uh, I would say, part of this new update. Uh, so that's cool. Although it says Wright Brothers, right? Which sounds a little bit, I would say, this looks more like the US. Really weird. But besides that, there are some new activities, right? That's uh, the ones which we already discovered or discussed in the, I would say, while going to the release notes. Here we've got the uh, world updates section and in the world update section you will find several ones uh, which are new, right? Auckland, uh, Lake Benmore and then if we scroll down we will find Queenstown. So those are the three new discovery flights so you can easily recognize them uh, with this, I would say, new uh, batch which is cool. Then going back we've got of course the landing challenges and as we discussed, right, there are a few new landing challenges. Uh, in my case, it still shows some new landing challenges, which are, I would say, not really new, but I would say the dream brackets are really old. But here we've got the Christchurch one, right? That's at least one of the new ones. If we go down to the list, uh, we don't see much, right? Because this is, I would say, this was already part of the updates. So we're going to go back one level and then go to EPIC because there was also a new EPIC one. If we scroll here, uh, we find several other ones. Uh, but here we've got the George River. That's the new landing challenge, right? And this looks to be, I would say, if you look at this one, this one looks really challenging. So we're definitely gonna try this out later today. Then we've got the strong wind because also in that section, there was a new one, uh, right? So if we go here, we see Wellington and you can see that there's a really strong wind, right? Because the aircraft is blowing completely to the uh, left side. So this will probably be, I would say, a pretty hard one to get. Uh, but I'm challenging you as one of my viewers to, I'd say, post your score in the comment, bo in the comment box below 
and let me know what the score was which you uh, gained, right? Probably you might need to give it a few tries, but hey. Challenging you. Then going to the boost trips. The boost trips also contain some new stuff, right? Uh, again, you can see that there are, I would say, I'm not playing boost trips a lot. I need to do it a little bit more. Uh, but if I scroll down, we will find uh, several boost trips uh, also in uh, New Zealand. Now, of course, I need to find them because there are so many new tagged here, which makes it, I would say, kind of hard to figure out. Uh, this one is new, right? Because it says New Zealand. Uh, that's the south part. Then we also should have the north part, right? Because that was the other one, uh, which they have added uh, here. No. Northwestern. Kimberley. Well. <laughs> It should be somewhere here, right? There are three new flights. Uh, that was the uh, northwest, uh, sorry, the uh, north one, the north island, the uh, south island, and as well there was a third one. And looking up the name, uh, the last one uh, was the, um, the historic recreation of the country's first air route in a Douglas DC-3. So let's see if we can I can find it, right? Then we can simply look for the aircraft because that's easier. Assuming that they have the aircraft in the picture. Where is it? Where is it? This one. New Zealand historic flight. And here's the north one, which we just missed, right? So all kind of cool stuff, which is being added as part of this uh, world update, uh, right? The other parts are not, I would say, updated as far as I know. Uh, the other things we should, of course, can do is look at the world map. Well, if we go to the world map, right, we need to, say, go to this part, which is currently in the dark, but you can change it using the flight conditions. And this is where you see all the new stuff with all the exclamation marks. Those are all the point of interest which are being added to the uh, solution, or to the sim, I should say. So a lot of cool stuff, right? So let me let me change the, uh, change the daylight settings a bit, uh, because else it doesn't make sense. So... Here we can see what's, what's being added, right? So that's really cool. Really looking forward to try this out, but that will be uh, recorded in a different video. So here ends this video where we looked at world update number 12, which takes place in New Zealand. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.